What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more GTA 5. Uh, today, we're gonna go do this M mission, which is probably right back at Michael's house, I would have to imagine. Uh, hopefully, his family's not back, because that would really put a downer on the game in general. Uh, it's, they've already put a downer on the game in general, and uh, for them to ruin it anymore, I don't think I would want that to happen. Also, apparently, I can't drive. I gotta got get my driving bearings back. You know, I've been playing a lot of San Andreas lately, a little bit more than GTA V. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just used to San Andreas controls, which is just a blatant bullshit excuse because I'm playing San Andreas on the PC. So, that, uh, that excuse isn't very good. But that's the excuse I'm going with. It's the best excuse I could think of at the time. So, works out for me. But I don't know how many more missions we even have to do. Let's see. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, can, I might be able to go into stats. I think somewhere it shows, like, what general... It might be general missions past 33. Maybe I'm not close to the end of the game. Someone said that I was, but I don't know. I have done 52 out of 69 missions. And I don't think that those are all story missions. I think those are some of the optional ones as well. So I probably don't have 17 missions to go in the main story. That probably includes optional stuff, because I, I don't know where optional stuff would even go under that. I don't, it wouldn't be hobbies and pastimes. Strangers and freaks are optional, but they're sort of like a main optional. Random events, no, and miscellaneous, I doubt it, so... I guess we'll see. I mean, maybe I do have a shit ton left to do in the game. I don't know. Someone said I was close, so I'm just going off of what they said. But since this is like, you know, quote-unquote, the big heist, I would imagine that that would be kind of closer to the end of the game. If we're going to do the biggest heist that we can do. And they mentioned that we would have to split up afterwards. And yada, yada, yada. Where? Here we are. Please don't be back. Please don't be back. Please don't be back. Bury the hatchet. Please don't be back. Please. Hey, man. Ah, Trevor. Thank God. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on. Your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. Oh, thank God. They suck, right? I know. No? Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Not sure what that's implying, but... Ah, oh, 
Oh, he took my car. Oh, God damn it! Why would he take my car? Do I have anything in the garage? Is that SUV in there? No, there's nothing in the garage. God damn it! Why would he take my car? Of all the cars to take in the world, he takes mine. Uh, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't exactly know what Trevor was implying. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no it's clear- Oh my god, what happened there? Shit! I wanted to hear the rest of that conversation, but I guess not. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Like, that doesn't seem like physics to me. Special like, Agent Norton. Oh, fuck. Oh, Shit. God damn it. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly is going on. I apparently have either missed something big or they haven't explained it. And knowing me, I probably missed something big. What is it that he doesn't know that he now knows? Something about Brad? Was Brad actually killed? Is Brad not in prison anymore? You, you, you would figure that... I don't know. I'm confused. I'm not sure if Brad has actually been killed or... Maybe everything Trevor knew was a lie. I have no idea. To be completely honest. Just want to really make sure that I don't miss my turn. Okay, this is it. Shouldn't be that... Yeah, we're about half a mile from the airport. So it's not... It's not too bad. But are we gonna go to the... To the place we were at in the beginning? North Yankerton? Wherever the fuck that's at, I have no idea where that's at. Apparently in the north, I would imagine. North somewhere. Oh, hey, well, wait a minute. I have this amazing car now. Unfortunately, I do not have Franklin. So there's like... <sighs> God damn it. I want to do this jump and actually do it. But the only way that I was able to actually get up there was with Franklin. Because I can use his little uh, driving Super Saiyan skill. I don't... Th I'm probably going to have, like, another terrible angle here. It's like... Okay, okay, come on. Whoop! I don't know what that's going to do, but I'm going sideways and far as fuck. Look at that. Oh, my God. Somewhere over the rainbow, please. This thing did, like, 90 corkscrews, and I failed to jump, but I landed on my wheels. So I'd say that was worth it. Is there a jump to get off of here? Or do I have to actually drive all the way down? Oh, no, there is, like, a thing right here. Oh, well. Oh! Look at the physics! The floaty physics! I've never seen a car that floaty before in my life. Yeah, but what the fuck's going on? I've obviously missed something big that is uh, pretty critical to the story. Oh, well. Park this car here. Double parked. Who gives a shit? I don't fucking care. It's not even my car anyway. I'm not paying that ticket. Can I hop the bush without... Oh. I was hoping he would actually kind of fall flat on his face, but... Oh, boy. Are these stairs right here? Yeah, these are stairs. Good. Are we actually leaving? Are we leaving this area? Or are we just going to try and stop Trevor? Okay, I guess we're getting stalked by the Chinese guys now. I'm assuming those are the same guys that Trevor pissed off much earlier in the game. I guess we are going to North Yankington, Yankerton, North Yonkerton, North Yonkey. We're going somewhere, north. That much is for sure. Welcome to Ludendorff. Go to Ludendorff Cemetery. Oh, I guess I got a nice, uh, that guy's following me. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. 
the slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to be somewhere where it snows Some all the time. people out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We got to follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. Okay. Still not sure if this is the first GTA game where there's actually snow in it. I don't remember playing we any other GTA it. game where it Baby, snowed. We are home free. It's over. This is fun, man. The day is long. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Go to your grave. Well, not every date. Oh, damn it. How the fuck do I... I can't hop this. I can't... Oh god, can I hop this? Hold on. I mean, let me try and hop this. Let me try and hop this. I cannot hop this. Okay. I don't think I can go through the gate unless I have to shoot the lock off. I have this. My weapons are removed when I boarded the plane. Nope, that doesn't do shit either. Alright, let's go this way then. Ah, yeah, there's Trevor. I assume that's Trevor. 